Welcome back to uh, Mesot, Thailand. A sunny morning here in Mesot, and I decided to uh, take advantage of the sunshine while it's here, hop on the scooter, and I'm heading for a ride outside of town, sort of towards the, uh, the mountain range, separating Mesot from Tak and you know, the interior of uh, Thailand. And I'm heading to an area that I've never gone to before. I don't really know what's there. Looking at Google satellite view, I can see a kind of a, a lake up there with perhaps a dam. It might be an artificial lake created by the dam. And uh, yeah, it just looks like the road climbs a little bit. And uh, that was enough to uh, make me decide just to turn the wheel of the scooter in that direction and uh, see what there is to see. I think this is my starting point, turning off the uh, main highway. And now I'm heading into the spider web of tiny farming roads that lead up into these hills. I have a feeling that uh, like on previous trips, I'll be turned back at some point because a lot of these areas are still closed because of COVID. I keep running into roadblocks back here. But we'll see what happens. The road is getting smaller and smaller. It's beautiful back here. Very lush and green. And I think the way this is going to work out is I have to go by one lake first and then beyond the first lake there's a second one up higher in the mountains. Uh, I see a road off to the right. Maybe that's where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> that one seems to be climbing up into the hills. But maybe this one will uh, get me over there. starting to climb. That's always a good sign. Oh, I think I know where I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually right here before. This is, uh, yeah, I was here on a previous trip, I remember now. Right up there at the top of that rise, there's a, a lake created by a dam. And uh, there's a temple over here. Maybe, well, let's go to the temple because the last time I came here, the temple was closed because of COVID, but maybe it's open now. If I remember right, you could see, uh, there's the possibility of a nice view of the countryside from up at that, uh, up at that temple. Good thing it didn't rain this morning or yesterday. I can see this road being kind of muddy, maybe impassable, but it's nice and dry today. 
and uh, whoa yeah so definitely be uh, hard to get through if it were raining All right, we made it out of there <laughs> onto some road. Fairly high water levels. I, said, I, I came down this way once before and this whole stream was uh, pretty dry, if I remember right. It didn't have nearly as much water flowing. And here it is, lake number one. Huh, I was expecting the water level to be quite a bit higher than this. <clears throat> but no, it's, it's pretty much the same as, uh, as when I saw it before. And right over, <clears throat> right over there, that's the uh, temple that I was uh, thinking about I could get up there, maybe get a nice view of the lake, and maybe uh, the town of Mesot. Yeah, this is interesting. I rode uh, to one end of the lake here, and there's quite a large runoff. So you can see that if the, the water in this lake did rise to a certain point, it would get, come here, and then uh, there's an overflow and then it would go pouring down this wide uh, pathway or causeway for the water. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Flood control. So where I want to go is over there, the direction the camera is pointing in now, sort of up in those hills. But, I'm going to uh, try and get up to that temple first. All right, this is the uh, entrance gate, the main one to the temple. This is new, quite a large sign there. Looks like one kilometer to reach the temple itself. And it gives you an idea of the view that you can get from up there, maybe? Or maybe not. That uh, looks like that picture might have been taken with a drone from a, a higher, higher point of view. Well, let's see if it's, uh, see if it's open now. I think the last time I was here was uh, over a year ago. Aha! Yeah, right here, last time, this whole uh, section, this gate was down and there were signs saying it was closed. So, there have been changes. Oh, nice. Over here. Huh. Nice view. Of the town of Mesa. Huh. I've never seen it from this high up, from the, this perspective before. And here's the main temple. Buddha statue at the front. 
a scaffolding over the central pagoda, the, the top there. Yeah, so it looks like the whole temple actually is still under uh, construction. It's nowhere near completed. I thought maybe it was older and they were fixing it, but it looks like it, they're still building the main uh, structure itself. Just uh, fairly common. I wonder if this uh, Buddha statue was here quite a bit longer and then they decided to uh, add the uh, temple building behind it. As you can see, here's the, uh, the main uh, temple that they're building, but it's still largely a uh, construction site, still being built. Sort of a hollow a cement shell right now. Here come the, the temple dogs. Come here. Hey, come here. Come So I was rescued from the dogs. A woman came and uh, drove them off. with dogs like that I'm never quite sure what the situation is because I'm sure given enough time they'd be friendly you know their tails were wagging and I don't mind if they uh, get relatively close to me but at the same time it would be a major problem if uh, one of them bit me <laughs> it would throw a, a wrench into my day if not my week you know having to deal with a uh, dog bite so yeah you just never know so I kept my uh, distance from them, and then uh, my hero came and uh, saved me. But yeah, it's uh, very much a uh, construction zone. As you can see all the um, building material here. And the side of the temple. Looks like they have big plans for it. It's going to be fully wired and turned into a, quite a nice place, I think, by the time it's done. Over here are all the uh, little little houses, the little cabins that the uh, the monks live in. Finished my walk around the temple and. Uh, yeah, I think it's time to get out of here. <laughs> I came around the corner here. Six or seven dogs from this house also came out and surrounded me. And this man uh, came out and drove them back. So yeah, not the, uh, not the friendliest of places to visit if you're not comfortable with uh, a lot of dogs. Coming down from the temple. And I think to go to the next lake, I have to sort of backtrack all the way to the highway. That seems to be the simplest way to do it since I've uh, kind of gone out of my way here. I have to find a, a different road that leads up into the hills. It's either that or I have to go back through that, that countryside, that really rough road, the one that could be quite muddy. It'd be easier just to backtrack to the highway a little bit.
I changed my mind. I think I might be able to go around this first lake. And if I can do that, then it can be a kind of a shortcut. Just wasn't sure whether this road would be open or not. But uh, let's find out. And nice views of the countryside from up here as well. Looking good. The gate on this side is open as well. This is the gate I was worried about, but it's open. So, should be able to make my way from here. There's an interesting uh, discovery. I found a sign here for a place called the Oxygen Bar and the Oxygen Home and Hills. It's only 700 meters away. So, this is the direction I want to go straight ahead but i think i'm going to take a little detour i've seen the name oxygen bar on google maps before but i don't think i've ever been here and uh, i don't know whether it's open or whether i mean if it's some sort of a coffee shop i can stop for a drink Here it is. Oxygen Homes and Hills. Swadi Krab. Okay. So this appears to be the place. The Oxygen Bar. And looks like they have rooms here as well. Nothing appears to be open right now. Maybe it's uh, only open uh, in the nighttime if it's a bar or something like that. That might be the main uh, bar building right there, but all the doors are closed. So it's not really a uh, coffee shop or anything like that. Oh well, okay. Thank you. Makes me wonder if that's like a well-known watering hole here in Mesot. Like do all the local people, it just looks like um, kind of a wild west kind of place. I wonder if it's a really happening bustling kind of crazy place on the weekends or something i don't know maybe it's where local people go if they really want to uh, get their drink on and uh, cause trouble or something kind of had that feeling about it for some reason back on the road I was looking for. Let's see, it's paved right now. It's in really good condition. Let's see how long that lasts. I 
I reached another kind of intersection. There's an interesting looking place here. I don't know what it is. It's got gates across both of the uh, access uh, roads. But this is the uh, sign for it right here. Looks sort of like a temple, but I don't really know what it is. But I think for me to continue my uh, little journey, I have to keep going in this direction. Still on the main road, it's gotten a little bit rougher, but still pretty drivable. But the road I want that leads to the lake and the dam is a side road that goes off to the left. I'm gonna have to stop and do another map check just to see uh, where this road might be. I might have passed it already. I haven't passed it yet. Should be up ahead on the left, the very next road. Oh. This might actually be the intersection. It's one of those uh, tricky situations where on Google Maps, it looks like the main road continues straight and the small one turns to the left. But in reality, the main road just curves to the left. So I think this is... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So on the map, it looks like you have to do a hard 90 degree turn onto a different road. But in reality, the road I'm on just does a 90 degree turn so I don't have to get onto a different road this is the this is the right one and I saw a sign that said something about a state national park so maybe this lake is inside some sort of park can't be a state national park a state park or a provincial park or something like that well, we'll see Feel like we're getting somewhere interesting, climbing higher. And I've seen some uh, big water pipes coming down through the valleys here. So I think this is a water source for the town of Mesot. I have a feeling that I'm going to see a lake any second now. Yeah, very cool. And there it is. Huh. Yeah, so it does seem to be artificial, this uh, large pile of rocks here with a road across it that looks like a, a kind of a dam that's been built there on a river and it uh, created this smallish lake big sign I can't read any of it, but I'm sure it gives the name of this place. Mm. 
there's the lake. Huh. I wonder if it's used as a fishery as well. Like a fish hatchery or something. Got a little platform built out over the water here. There's a man down there fishing, and I've seen a few other fishermen around the, the edges. It's pretty serious, that guy. Looks like he has four or five uh, different uh, fishing poles in the water at the same time. There's another one of these big runoff channels for when the uh, water level gets too high. As the water heads down there. Just based on the amount of debris down there, I don't think it gets used very often. And I did see on Google Maps that it said something about this being a state park. So maybe the state park is sort of back in the hills over there. But interestingly, it looks like you get a nice view of uh, Mesot from up here. From uh, right over here. Ah, that's kind of why I uh, came up here. That's what I wanted to see. Get a nice aerial view of this area. Uh, I can actually see the temple that uh, I just visited. It's just on the lower left corner. I can just see the Buddha statue. And I can see the airport pretty clearly. But I think most of downtown is uh, hidden behind that hill. But maybe it will come into view from this corner over here. You can see more of it, but not a whole lot more. Nice view though. Hmm, nice. So just for fun, let's see where the road goes. A little bit further ahead. I'm just curious if there's an official state park with campgrounds and hiking trails and a gate, you know, barrier and staff and things like that, or whether it's just a kind of a wilderness preserve. came all the way around to the far side of the lake and the dam. You have a better view of uh, how the dam is uh, put together from here. I wonder what that uh, building out in the middle is for. Some sort of a monitoring station for water quality or as a filtration system, keeping the water clean. Again, I expected the water levels to be quite a bit higher than this based on the time of year and the amount of rain that's been falling, but. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the lake uh, continues around this side quite a distance.
So I've been riding for quite a while down this road and it looks like I finally reached the end of the lake itself. So this is where the, this is the riverbed and this is how it would look you know, before the dam was built, I guess. But uh, I guess in high, high levels, high season for the water, all of this would be underwater as well. As the water levels rise, this would all be filled in, but it's all dry right now. I don't really know where the road goes from here. Just continues on into the hills, but I don't think it goes over the top and down the other side. I think it just uh, stops at some point. But there's a hydro, a, you know, hydro lines running alongside the road, so there must be something out here, some businesses or homes or something. Really nice road, much better condition than I was expecting. Wow. Well, yeah, look at that. We're heading into some farming land, I think. So now we're definitely beyond the reach of the dam, even if uh, the, you know, the water was at its highest level, this would still be dry. So there it is, the river itself. So at some point in the past, someone looked at this river and said it would be a good place to put a dam and uh, make a, a reservoir. Huh. I have a lot of admiration for engineers of any type. You know, any engineers that would survey this land and decide to build a dam here. And because I uh, wouldn't have the first clue how to do any of that. That's what we need engineers for. Yeah, we're heading into some beautiful countryside farming area. Makes me wonder if people live back here or whether they just own the land but their house is somewhere else and they commute every day to work the land. I've seen a couple of people walking alongside the road, some farmers with their dogs. And I'm seeing some shelters here. And you can see all the tree stumps where the land originally was forested, but then they cleared the trees and started uh, planting here. Just up ahead there, you can see the road goes up into the hills and um, yeah, <laughs> I have to keep going. Can't stop yet. You have to see where the road goes, you know? Oh, an interesting development here at this intersection. There's quite an elaborate set of signs here. I don't know what it is for, but there's some sort of an official building there. And there appears to be a village and a temple over here. And it looks like the road in theory continues all the way through the hills back to the main highway leading to Tak City near the Chow Por Powo Shrine. So depending on the condition of the road, I might be able to just keep going all the way to the highway and then uh, go back to Mesot from there. That would be kind of cool. No need to uh, backtrack at all. So this is why there were uh, hydro lines. Oh, there's a school here. And a village. Never ceases to amaze me where people live, you know? People live everywhere. Because I would have said that I was really in the middle of nowhere, and yet here's a village right here. Huh. 
This is really nice. And there's a car, nice car right there. A whole lot of cars and trucks. So people do drive in and out of this place regularly. So, question is, Will this road take me all the way back to the highway through the hills? That'd be very cool if it did. Well, I've gotten to the far end of the village and the pavement has stopped. The road has gotten considerably rougher. So, decision has to be made whether to uh, see if this will take me back to the highway or to uh, stop and turn around. haven't decided yet this section of the road links up with another section just up ahead where I turn right and at that point I should be able to make a more informed decision on whether to continue or not certainly if this road was muddy I would turn around but at the moment it's uh, pretty dry and in pretty good condition. <laughs> I think the decision is being made for me because in that direction that does not look uh, wise. Though this is the main road, I think, in this direction. And it's getting uh, pretty rough. And a little bit more mud is starting to appear. Yeah, I think it's time to turn around. Actually, I've already turned around. The road I'm on right now, uh, dead, it ran into a dead end ahead of me. So I had to turn around. And that's the direction where the other road goes, like off to the left. And it's so rough. There's just no way. Uh, that's way too steep. And I think the road is just way too rough. I don't think it is a, it isn't really a road anymore. So back the way I came, through the village, and then to the lake, and then back to the main road. Which is not uh, so terrible. I was just curious how far I could get on this road. But I think I've reached the end. So yeah, the only other way to go is uh, in that that direction there to the left, and that clearly uh, that just spells uh, spells disaster. So heading back.
I am back at the main dam and from here it's a straight shot back to the highway and then back into Mesot. So I think that's the end of my small adventures for this morning. Not the most exciting of morning adventures of all time, but I enjoyed that quite a bit. As I said, I've never been up this road before, at least I haven't been up this far um, to visit this uh, second dam. I've been down around that first dam and that lake a few times. It was nice to go up to that temple, see that it's open, survive a, uh, <laughs> a mass dog attack at that temple, get out of that unscathed, and then find my way up here. Yeah, it was really interesting to head all the way into the hillsides to that uh, small village there. Would have been nice to continue all the way back to the main highway. Would have been nice to do kind of a loop instead of backtracking, but hey, uh, yeah, there's no, there's no way to continue on that road. It wasn't going to get me any further than that village. It was pretty clear. So that's it for this morning. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.